So it looks like Koala got a new update. For those that don't know, now you can save to an iCloud Drive, which is nice because uh, generally speaking, if you have a smaller iPad or an iPhone, um, you don't have a lot of space on there. The memory costs so much on Apple that it's nice to be able to save all your stuff to the iCloud and be able to draw it from there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the tempo tap to generate infinite tempos says that the t taps were generated fast. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that problem is, but I guess now you can Tap tempo here, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe not. There you go, it didn't work, so. There you go. So I guess that's some updates and fixes. Resample from individual buses. So if you don't know about that, it's here. So now you can pick which bus you want to sample from. So you want to put your effects on a bus and then resample that. You can do that. Pretty cool. Holding clear and tapping the um, keyboard button when in keyboard mode will clear the notes for the current pad. So he just updated that for you. Um, oh, the cog menu. So it's right here. It allows you to export the song or delete unused pads. So that's pretty cool. A little fix with uh, being able to put a slash in a sample. Um, swing MIDI mapping has been fixed. Emojis are rendered monochronically in text labels like songs, names, bus, pads. Okay. So it's a lot of, uh, fixes, updates, improvements. I think the cloud and being able to sample from the bus, uh, tracks here are probably the biggest features here that are added. The rest of it seems pretty much more like just cool updates to keep it uh, functioning smoothly and the workflow moving along. So just wanted to point that out. If you haven't seen it, make sure you run your update and uh, keep enjoying Koala because it is one of the best samplers out there, on at least on um, iOS for sure. All right. Well,